hi all so welcome to this channel once again and in this video session i'll discuss uh, a few concepts of uh, ifs in ibm i responded so uh, those are uh, like uh, ifs path and the stream file concept in ifs so uh, let's start with this so yes we all know that we have a command work link to access the IFS so this is my home directory where uh, you can see uh, I am accessing this file test file 1 so basically uh, as you can see that uh, there is a relation between uh, the directory and an object so if I want to locate an object I need to give it uh, I need to traverse to the path so I need to provide the path of that object so that where to locate that object in some directory or within directories or in sub directories so I need to specify the path to locate that object so in this case if you uh, notice that this file is located inside slash home directory and then inside that uh, my user profile directory that is uh, also my current directory easy class slash test file one so to access this object test file one i need to uh, have this path till this file okay so let's give it slash so that's a root directory as we all know if I look 5 here and I want to uh, let's say locate sorry so if I want to locate this file so what path I need to give is slash bin slash applet viewer let me try so if I give this path so you can see I can directly browse that I can locate that object uh, within that directory slash bin so inside the root directory we have this bin directory and then we have this object so let's say if I would be accessing any other directory let's say dev which has another directory this one and these are all canvases let's locate something else let's say this not home let's say temp this one oh nothing i'm not authorized to that so to access this file what would be the path this one so let's see still okay Okay, 
just take f4 i can and give the path so you can see we can access this path so basically path is something uh, one is the uh, absolute path so just i want to highlight here is one is absolute path and uh, one is the relative path so absolute path is something where i need to specify each and every directory or its sub directory to locate that object okay so in this case i have to have every step or every uh, directory inside that path so that you can access that object but uh, for the relative path you don't need to give the uh, directory sometimes so that's what uh, let's say I would be doing for work link and what I will be doing I am giving the file name directory directly so you can see I can still find the file name so because this is a relative path so in case of if I provide relative path system will search in the current directory and my current directory is my home directory for now so you can see if i would do dsp cur dir command so you can see uh, my current directory is slash home slash easy class which is created at the time when my user profile is created so easy class is the username uh, basically and with the same name that this directory got created in the time of user profile creation so you can see that still you can uh, access uh, the object without giving any absolute path so this, that's called the relative path in which your current directory is being searched and uh, if the object would define you will be able to get to that location and uh, next thing is stream file concept so uh, let's uh, understand a stream file as just compare first uh, first understand database file so database file uh, we have several records in database file we have several fields so let's say record one record two record three and then several fields let's say field one field two field three field four field five field and up to n field and um, since the data is organized in some format here in database files and maybe some with some data type as well like uh, some data is in character format up to some length and some data is in decimal or numeric or float or anything else so the in database file the data is arranged basically and they are treated as a, a field or a recall basis but in stream files that's something which is different from the database file and in this case we have a continuous bit of data so in that case we don't have a database file we can't have the database file as an stream file but because in database file we have the records uh, or the fields are being organized but here the data is continuous that is not organized so what data we could store here so data uh, data something uh, which is stores in a, a continu continuous format like uh, uh, like documents uh, documents uh, we can store because they are in a text format like the full paragraphs are written in documents then the continuous bits of a string so they could be written to the uh, uh, stream files the audios the audios and videos uh, file uh, data is also written to because they are continuous stream of data and uh, these types of data we can have uh, pictures like we, we can have on the stream file and, uh, and that's called the stream file which is stores the, the uh, data in the continuous stream format so you can create this stream file uh, let me show you one example here and I can show you walk link so if you'll see you can see uh, there are three stream files already created so they have the uh, the type of stmf let me check if i would, could take f1 here for help and i would show you stmf is in a stream file okay now how could i create that 
so we can create it through various methods so i'm telling you only one method here and we'll be discussing later several other apis or uh, things uh, which can do this work for you so this command you can use uh, that's used to edit a file so it also creates a file if it is not present there on the location so let's say i'm creating a file um, flash home slash easy class so if i will be uh, be editing the existing file so i will be giving some name like this so you can see this file is already existing so i can edit something hello welcome to ifs welcome again and i can save it using f2 or i can press f3 to save and exit if i want don't want to save i can uh, take f3 f12 to exit so now i'm taking f3 so let's see what happens to the file you can see uh, the data is edited so if i want to create a stream file that's a new one so i need to give a path so up to this i have the directory so i don't have further directory i cannot give the name there so i need to first create the directory using create dir command if i want to give so let's uh, stick up to a uh, here and let's give in a uh, file name new file so you can see you can ha now have this file created onto this path now i can have new file created successfully press f3 to uh, save and then press again f3 to exit now if you take f5 here you will see that new file is created which is of type stmf means that's an stream file now you can have a uh, data here so that's what the thing here is so uh, you got to know about the ifs path and stream file concept in ibm is 400 and whatever we write uh, in the stream uh, in the ifs that that could be uh, in the stream file uh, we can have multiple other files as well uh, we'll be discussing that later so that's all here in this video thank you and have a nice time